5 40 in the morning i genuinely can't believe that i won't be in my room for three weeks definitely a foreshadowing of what's to come with college but germany i'm going to germany i am so excited i can't even i don't have words to describe how excited i am i have my carry-on in the back it is stuffed to the brim for some reason they're making us get to the airport at 6 30 in the morning but our flight leaves at 9 30 so yeah and then we go to atlanta georgia and we have a five hour layover there and then we go to germany we're weighing my bag one more time because yesterday my suitcase was 48 pounds and the limit is 50 so that's kind of concerning but oh well we're gonna cross our fingers and knock on wood i'll see you at the airport the travel experience to Germany was quite mediocre above anything else. I said goodbye to my mom, I said goodbye to my dog, and soon enough we were at the airport and it was real and we were flying to Atlanta to then fly to Germany. That realization in itself made me very excited but also freak out internally because I think I had been waiting for this trip for such a long time and it was actually happening. When we got to the Atlanta airport, the difference between the Atlanta airport and my city's airport was night and day. It was gigantic, there were so many things to do during our five hour layover and soon enough we were boarding our nine hour flight to go to germany oh what a serve i think what made it real for all of us was hearing people speak german at the gate this is my friend alex trying to decipher what people are saying <laughs> but that alone made us realize oh wow we are experiencing german right now the flight was long but fine I ate terrible food that made my stomach gurgle for the next 24 hours and genuinely hurt, but I think the adrenaline of being in Germany topped everything. We made it to Stuttgart. So I'm here, day one. I feel like it's too beautiful to even put on video. Like, I've never seen such walkable neighborhoods, just friendly people. It's such a safe community. They just care a lot about Umweltschutz, which is environmental protection, and like you can see that in their neighborhoods, but it's just such a different vibe. It's the biggest culture shock that I've ever had in my life. Their food. On day two, we shadowed their gymnasium, which is their highest level of a high school, basically. And let me tell you, was this a culture shock in so many ways? We made beer in their Naturwissenschaft class. That was so strange. I kept thinking if I did this in my American high school, you'd get suspended. A teacher would not be allowed to teach. I love Germany so far. It is so beautiful. And I already know that it's probably one of the best experiences of my life so far. I just love it. I truly do. I was trying to ride a bike with my friend Lainey and I was driving, riding it, and she was behind me and her legs hit me. We were turning and there was a log. Our bike goes hard. The bike flips over and me and Lainey go boop. Luckily, no one was like hurt bad. I have a really bad bruise developing here and it's like a bump. I have some things that are bleeding, but no one was hurt. We laughed a lot from it. A memorable vacation thing. <laughs> The next day, we toured the city of Stuttgart. The city itself was incredibly green. This building right here was a live building where there's plants and vines and like greenery on every single exterior wall of the building. And I found a really big appreciation for all of the architecture. I find it so cool how there's this bustling German city that's modern and has all of this modern technology. And then there's also this piece of history because you have all of these beautiful statues, these historic masterpieces that people built hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So my bruise got worse. Yeah. Germany is absolutely stunning. I cannot fully describe how amazing it is. Overall, the exchange is great. I'm learning so much more German. I love it. On to the next day. Week one is coming to a close and I truly don't have the words to describe Germany. I've said this so many times, but 
it's this combination of pleasantness, of the freedom of being in Europe and of having so much walkable things that you can do. And also just the culture is just so different. I always say in German, ich habe eine kleine Wortschatz, which means I have a very small vocabulary. But I find myself having a very small vocabulary in English because I can't properly describe Germany and its wonderfulness and how just how much I needed this, I think, in my life. And also, I think it's really helped me build global perspectives. I think seeing how other people live is such a valuable thing. And before this, I had never really been to different countries. I mean, yeah, I went to Mexico on a cruise once. I never really lived the life of someone who does not live in Midwest United States. Going through this experience has been very enlightening. It is truly beautiful. And I think the word beautiful is very overused, but this lifestyle is truly beautiful. A lot of the Germans have been thinking that it's weird that all of the Americans have been almost romanticizing their town. I think when you look at something for so long, every single day of your life, you get so used to it. I think being here has really made me want to go home and find things in my own life that are beautiful and that are so uniquely where I live. And so I think that's one of the big takeaways of week one. I will see you in the next video. I'm so excited for week two. We're already a weekend. It's insane. Mm -hmm.